Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to my reefing channel. Uh, today I'm going to show you uh, how I plan on fragging this uh, Bizarro Cyphastria frag. It is a frag that I picked up at the uh, last Reef of Palooza at the, uh, in Anaheim at the convention center. Um, here's the original frag right here. And the part that you saw down in the sump was uh, the stem part of it. I originally had it wedged in between these rocks right here. And you can see that it uh, grew down onto the rocks as planned. What I didn't plan for was that it was going to grow down onto the stem as well. So I just threw that down in the sump here and it's uh, completely encrusted now. So the reason why I plan on fragging that piece is because I want a flat, clean side so that I could mount it onto my overflow right here and let it just take over and encrust that whole bottom section. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and set up my fragging station and show you guys how I plan on fragging it. My uh, fragging station I'll set up. I also recruited uh, some helpers. I got my son here, he's on uh, summer vacation. And I also got my daughter, she's behind the camera. Uh, so what I plan on fragging with is I got a Dremel with a diamond bit uh, cutter. And I'm gonna have my son here drip uh, salt water on my coral while I'm fragging it. So here it goes. It's gonna cut it right in half down the middle here. And always safety first. I got goggles on my son. All right, here we go. All right. A little more water tightening. Nice clean edge and a face full of salt water. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and mount this piece. tank. Right, follow me. Mm. Come around on this side. Place it right here. Hold it there for a second. Hopefully, a snail or one of my fish don't knock that off. Yeah. All right, that's that. And let's go back to the other half. I'm going to mount that on this.
you saw that I was, had my frag plug so, soaking in the water there. Helps remove all the air bubbles so when you do glue it down, it's not bubbling up with the glue. Okay, and I'm just gonna go ahead and place that on my frag rack. Alright everyone, and that's it, thanks for watching.